come to lesson two of science. Today we'll be looking at diversity of matter. And under diversity of matter, we'll be looking at living and non-living things. Now let's look at our objectives. So by the end of today's lesson, you should be able to identify common things in the environment and where they belong, whether it is a living thing or non-living thing. Second, you should know some features or characteristics of living things and non-living things. And the last one, you should be able to differentiate or know the difference between living and non-living things. So before we understand this lesson, let's quickly go through our keywords. Our first keyword is features. Features. So features means the attributes of something or how they behave. Attributes of something and how they behave. The next one is reproduction. Reproduction. Reproduction is the process of giving birth to young ones of its kind. Reproduction is the process of giving birth to young ones of its kind. Then the last one is difference. Difference. The difference means a point or way in which people or things are not the same or similar. The point or way in which people or things are not the same or similar. Now, in our previous lesson, we talked about living things. We looked at their definition or meaning, living things and non-living things. And we said living things have life in them. Non-living things do not have life in them. Or they do not have life span. And we identify living things in the community and we group them under living and non-living things. Okay, so today, we are going to look at some characteristics or features of living things. So, why were you able to identify a cat as a living thing? Yes, yes. So, that brings us to our main purpose today. The characteristics of living things. So, living things... We said earlier on that living things have life and lives span. So let's look at their features. All living things breathe. All living things breathe. So if a thing has life, it does what? It breathe. All living things eat to get energy. You get energy to move around. You get energy to grow. So living things can feel. Living things also grow. They mature and go through different stages of life. So we have a puppy. A puppy will grow up to be what? A dog. Babies will grow up to be adults. Good. Now a, a baby plant will grow up to be what? A parent plant. The last one, living things reproduce their young ones. Good. Now let's go through non-living things. They are features. What makes a chair a non-living thing? Non-living things are lifeless. They do not have life. So they do not breathe. They do not grow unless a material is added to it. So let's take a snowball for instance. So if you want a snowball to be big, unless you attach another snowball to it, so that they will grow. So they do not grow like living things. They do not eat. Non-living things do not eat. They do not reproduce. They do not give birth to younger ones. Unless a man make, so let's take a chair for instance. If you want to have a little chair, unless a man makes it, 
but they don't want to give birth to a chair. Okay, so if you want a chair, a small chair, unless you go to the carpenter, for the carpenter to make what? Another chair for you. They do not give birth because they are non-living things. They do not move. They cannot move from one place to the other to look for food or to run from danger. You know, living things move to look for food, water, and to also what? To run from danger. But non living things cannot do that. They do not react to the weather or something. Therefore, they do not have sense of touch. Okay, now let's look at the difference between living and non living things. Good. So, living things have life. We always said living things are opposite of what? Non living things. So, living things have life. Non living things do not have life. Living things give birth to young ones. Non living things do not give birth to younger ones. Living things survive on water, air, and food. Whilst non living things do not depend on anything to survive. Yes. So a plant needs water and air in order to grow. But a chair do not need what water air or food to grow now the last one living things have a lifespan yes they have the time that they will leave the earth therefore they are mortal on the other hand non-living things do not have a lifespan so they are what immortal yes so a human being have the time that he or she will leave the earth. Non-living thing, they do not know when they are leaving the earth unless someone destroys it. Okay, children, what have we learned today? So today, we looked at some characteristics or features of living things. And we said living things breathe. Living things eat to get the energy to grow and to move around. Living things mature. They go through different stages of development or life. So we have a baby growing up to be what? An adult. Then non-living things do not what? Breathe. They are lifeless. They do not do what? Breathe. They do not grow unless you add material to it. They do not eat. They do not reproduce. They do not what? Move. Good. We also looked at the difference between living and non-living things. And we said living things have life. Non-living things do not have life. Living things give birth to younger ones. Non-living things do not give birth to younger ones. Living things depend on water, air, and food to survive. On the other hand, non-living things do not depend on anything to survive. Then we said living things have lifespan. Therefore, they are mortal. Non-living things do not have lifespan. And they, they are immortal. Okay, children. So pick your choices and write three differences between living and non-living things. And also add two characteristics each. Good. When we meet at Zoom, we will look at it and I will explain more to you. Be good children and always stay safe for me. Till I come your way. Bye-bye.